Good day, lords and ladies, and welcome back to Age of Fear 2, the Chaos Lords, me, Connors Knight, as we press on with our Let's Play. Now, a little birdie has told me that we should keep at this particular mission, but first off, I was told that I'd missed something on the world map. All the things popping in. The developers have tried really hard when they've been doing this, it's really... It's really impressive considering that the safes are uh, such a small team and all this stuff has to be made by hand, all the artwork and everything, it's really impressive. I just want to see the golden apples had dropped, but apparently they had not. I've also been told there's a secret to these manasards, though I have to discover them for myself. I do not know what that means, but hey ho. There we go. Obelisk. Card from dark stone sticking out like knives from the glacier underfoot. These magical ob obelisks for the adventurers stand tall through the swirling blizzard. The heroes step close and feel intense vibration from the snow of the ground. Whereas obelisks must stand deep into the earth and are clearly still containing some amount of power left and discharged. Magical items held by the party begin to harm every inch even closer to the obelisk, suggestion, suggesting it might be wise to keep any objects carrying a mana charge safe distance away, or maybe not. Can the adventurers solve the mystery of these strange obelisks? Let's go back. Okay, so we can't do anything with those yet. Let's keep it going, have another look at this buried tomb. Um, the hint I was given was just to keep trying at it. I suppose we should keep trying. Let's see. So we've just got to put in random combinations. I don't know what will work. I don't think we can actually solve this, I don't think, judging from how it's set up. It's either we had to just do it purely by luck, or... There doesn't seem to be any clues set in the text. So... Do we just have to keep fighting the ghost? I mean, that's my that's what my theory is. I think we're just going to have to keep fighting the ghost. And hopefully something happens. Maybe like maybe the scenario changes so like eventually he gets pissed off enough that he summons Surprise. other ghosts or we find something hidden in the um hidden in the tomb or something. I mean that's what I'm hoping for. Oh that was weird. Why did it black out for a second? Hmm. So yeah, this isn't going to be a particularly long episode, it's going to be about 20 minutes, give or take. And the reason for this is as follows. I massively over-recorded this episode because I forgot to turn my clock on. So it basically came in at just under an hour, and I didn't want to do an episode that was that long, so this episode is going to be in two parts. The first part is going to be about 20 or so minutes long. The next one, which is the full battle is going to be a just under 30 minutes long. So I hope you guys can have that. What is going on with this blacking out? I do not know. Very strange. The thing is, none of this happens when I'm playing. It's only when I come back and look at the footage. And developers ha have said multiple times that they are working on improving the actual game engine and I look forward to when it's finally released because it's going to be a massive undertaking for them because they are such a small team Barbarian King, you are stubborn, lousy adventurer, adventurer wannabes fine, here is your prize, just leave my tomb alone out now, go the tomb entr entrance shuts down for loud bang no event will be able to disturb the Barbarian, Barbarian King ever again oh, so we just have to keep doing it until we basically annoy the Barbarian King's crown so, let's see what that got us. Besides a whole host of XP by the looks of it. Okay, so we're just going to basically just stop. I mean, Belkar is completely upgraded now. Uh, I really want to get the magical weapon magical weapon for him, to be honest. I mean, his level of attacks are obscene.
but he, I mean, to be honest, purse of out. Uh, let's see, barbarian king's crown plus two attack plus one HP, battle rage, war cry, amulet of night, one plus one attack, immune to darkness. I mean, the the amulet of night is nice, but I prefer to have the battle rage. And I mean, to be honest, with the introduction of the backpack feature in this game where it allows you to swap swap items out, there's no real reason for me to um, have this on, because I can just switch it off and on as I need in case there is a, a knight missing coming up, but Battle Rage is really useful for Sir Percival, because if he gets hurt he makes him even more aggressive, which is really nice. Any skills? No, I still want to get magical weapons for him. Very nice combination. Hmm, that's changed. That used to be Demonologist and Channeler. Huh. Very strange. Still not enough for Chaos Mage. I wonder, I know the developers said that they... The developers put a patch out between my last episode and this one. They were not particularly happy with... Um, with how the Mancubus was performing, so they basically they weren't okay. They weren't particularly happy with the Mancubus, and they weren't particularly happy with the um, Will of the Wisps. They thought they could use improvements, so they released the pats to basically tweak them, so they were just a slightly tiny bit more effective. Um, so that would be interesting to see what they've done. I hope it looks that they've also taken out channel and maybe that was something left over from another it might be something left over or it might have been something that I've missed like in the earlier missions like when I was supposed to get the golems and the hydra I think it might, might have meant that I could have unlocked channelers or something but I'm not totally sure um, I might have to inquire with the, um, the developers about that just well, just giving, to be honest, I've got so much XP at the moment that a lot of my people are basically running out of things to get. Which is always a good sign, in my opinion, in this game. If your characters are running out of out of abilities to pick up, it's a very, very good sign. The spell magic, always very nice. Always, you can never underestimate the usefulness of the spell magic. Mind Blast, eh. Not a big fan of it. The Mancubus... Hmm. I'm still holding out for the Mancubus, Mancubus Brute, to be honest. He gets his last. I'm getting tough for everyone just to stop them from getting injuries, because I can't afford to not have them fire strike, because it's supposed to be an awesome ability. Didn't realise at the time, which was the same. I really want to get the Chaos Summoner. Right, chill touch, not a fan of it. These guys get upgraded. Everyone gets upgraded. Excellent. While I'm here I'll figure fix my potions as well. Just because people need to have some It's one of these things for this game. I, uh, wait, oh yeah, it's, uh, sorry. It's one of these things for this game. Um, once you like figure out the base mechanics, you can try some really interesting. The party strategies. finally reached the city near Bone River, where they were welcomed. The city seemed to be as Percival had described it. The settlers were genuinely happy to have more people arrive. During their travels, Kara had been teaching some of the barbarians to be summoners capable of summoning petty demon lords from the underworld. Percival had not spoken to her about it, but he did not think it wise. When these summoners began working while in the settlement, he felt the need to speak up. These locals will not like things being summoned here. I am aware of that. That is precisely why I am doing it. The discussion ended there, and Percival walked away. He felt more comfortable not even witnessing the act of summoning. The party ended up staying at the settlement much longer than originally intended. However, after a few months, 
Kara had had enough. She always hated the stinking swamps, but now she really craved a more civilized dwelling. They were going to move to a more populated part of the kingdom. That can't be good. Right, so that's Redcliffe, or Red Castle, sorry. Nothing else new on the map, no. Right. Let's get this done. The party traveled for many days before reaching Red Castle. Percival acted as a liaison to get the party admitted into King William's court. King William himself was out of the court on a hunt, but the party was shown around and met many high-ranking nobles. Kara had long planned to seduce the king, and now her chance was almost upon her. She was surprised to notice that she was a little nervous, which wasn't like her. After waiting around a few days for the hunting party to return, Kara got bored. We will go on a hunt of our own to find the king, she thought to herself. When she told him, Percival agreed with her plan. Not that it really mattered, as she would have made him comply anyway. The party readied for travel into the forest. After only a few hours in the forest, the party was ambushed by demon lords. Huh! A loud, bellowing voice called from behind Kara. We meet again, my succubus. This time, I will take you back to the underworld. Zarya Khan, I thought you were busy rotting in the void. Not quite, succubus. The Conclave has allowed me to take my revenge on you. Encouraged it, even. And now, you are going to go back in the most painful way that I can imagine. I see that the Conclave did not trust you to handle this by yourself this time. You have two other demon lords accompanying you. All for just one little succubus. But I tell you something, you freak. Even ten demon lords will not be enough to stop me from ripping your heart out. I will send you all back. Zarya Khan fell for her baiting and became infuriated. There is not enough room for both of us in this realm. You pathetic excuse for a succubus. I agree. This is why you must return to the void. You can take your new friends with you too. I will give you all a free trip there. Well, this is going to be interesting. So we're fighting demonic forces. So lots of summoners and demons. Probably at this point in the game, they're probably going to have the full arsenal. So we're going to have hell blazers, blazers, summoners, probably beholders. Probably war hydras as well. Oh, we can up like upgrade to chaos mages. That's probably a bad sign, because it probably means that they're going to have Chaos Mages as well. Ah, it's going to be a pain. I definitely, definitely need to first mix so everybody's got potions. Because the one thing I cannot afford to do in this battle is have my Mages without potions. Mana shards. Potion of concentration is nice, but I the mana potion is just a straight up hit of power. So it's on these. In the long run, in the long run, mana concentration potions are better. Powerful concentration potions are better um, because they give you more mana over time. But if you just want to see a like mana boost, as it well as it were, um, just raw. Mana potions are best. Also, make sure that everyone has healing potions. I cannot afford to be losing people at this point in the game. So, get that fixed up. This is one of the things I always forget. I always forget to give people healing potions. The problem is, if you if you play the game well, your characters you don't really lose people that often. So you can become a bit blasé about giving people potions. Which is always a massive, massive short-sightedness. Well, massive flaw, I should say. Right, 
make sure we have the beholders. That all looks good. Beholders are very useful. Um, very effective at destabilizing enemy battle plans. And with the firebolt spell, they're just a bit more damagey as well, which is always nice. Will of the Wisp, uh, not sure if it will be useful, but I'll take it anyway. If push comes to serve, it can be a distraction. Hmm, relatively good solid makeup. A lot of oh, strong melee characters with a good mix of combat magical use in there as well. Make sure that everyone has healing potions. Yeah, everyone has healing potions. wee bit low on money as well, so I'm going to be careful about that. I spent most of it just buying XP, which is not a bad thing to spend money on in all honesty. the same, there's the dragon's the what was it? yeah, dragon's teeth, that's a really nice item to have, double attack unfortunately it is two handed so it's not as useful as the berserker armor unfortunately, even if the berserker armor does limit my movement but hey ho, on to the attack it's one of these things, it's really hard to get double attacks and dual wielding without having to get Berserker. The familiar stances that you yag on. I have found you this time, there will be no escape. Declared the Axa the Yagon. Belkar, I thought you decided to take a permanent vacation into the void. A same you to see you back so quickly. Axia Yagon, this will be your final meeting. A last for you, declares Belkara sharply. Right, they seem to be pretty... What are we facing? Uh, that's a lot of combat potential, a lot of, of dark messages, summoners, a ton of imps. Ooh, actually that's quite a lot indeed. I'm just going to save just in case this battle goes pear-shaped. It's something that I always do. If this car if this battle is like this and I've done a lot of pre prepping, I tend to save beforehand just so that we can jump right back into the into the action in the next video if I lose. Right. So get all my troops together. I tend to spread them out that you saw so you have like magic I so you have like succubus next to at least two melee units. And also probably anchor it with the Mancubus as well, because they're more defensive and I'm probably going to have to be holding the line for a bit. Unless they've removed Clumsy, no, they can't. He hasn't, so they're still predominantly defensive. Fortunately, none of these enemy succubi and dark mistresses seem to have fireballs, which is really, really good. So... Sorry. A lot, sorry, a lot of um, demon lords, but nothing we can't deal with. I wonder if I wonder if the um, will of the wisp can take over demon lords. That would be good if it can. It would be a massive help. Get our melee troops and anchor both flanks with very fast moving bats to try and get around the flanks. Uh, it's going to be a pain, though, to be honest. I would lie. That amount of magical potential at the back with the summoners is going to be a pain because they'll keep spawning out demons and but we we won't be able to get past them like to be honest just way too many men too many enemies to get past to deal with them but hey ho well to next time i've been called tonight if you've liked please press the like button if you wish to subscribe please press the subscription button you can follow me on twitter you can follow me on steam and i shall see you all next time on the next episode of age 2 the 